24 news update tonight. Legislation to regulate microchipping employees in Arkansas moves one step closer to becoming law. The full House passed Representative Stephen Meek's proposal Thursday. It would allow employees to opt out of getting microchipped without the threat of being fired. Some of Meeks's colleagues wondered why this measure is necessary, but most supported it anyways. We as a body have got to be proactive to protect our citizens. And that's what this bill does. It's a protection bill. The bill now moves to a Senate committee for debate. Five other state legislatures are considering simul similar legislation right now. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to do an update. I talked about this earlier. And you got to see how this is being flipped as a positive with the mandatory microchipping in Arkansas. What they've done, because they've heard such pushback from people in Arkansas, is they've completely switched the narrative, making the narrative that, well, employee, employers can make the microchip mandatory, but if you refuse to get it, you won't be fired. You see how they psychologically do this stuff? So they're saying, oh, you know, the House passes this law to make microchipping mandatory. Mandatory, right? So if you work somewhere, they can make it mandatory for you to get the chip. However, they want to make sure that people can opt out of this and don't have to get it mandatorily. So, huh, is really how you describe it. Like, what? So let me get this straight. My business is going to make it mandatory. Say you work at, uh, you work at Joe Blow's, and he's making it mandatory that everybody there, even the guys who clean the toilets, have to have microchips. But... If you refuse, you won't be fired. So then it's not technically mandatory. But this, this is just basic mind control and how they're flipping this. And they're going to say, okay, companies now can make it mandatory to microchip, right? So all these companies are going to offer microchipping, technically, right? They're going to be allowed to microchip employees. The employees can opt out. Eventually, what you'll see is that all of these companies, you even heard in the news clip, right? You heard them say other states are now going to do this. Other states want to make this, you know, mandatory to protect the citizens. This is the opposite of what it's doing. It is not protecting the citizens because never in any way, shape or form should they be allowed to make microchipping mandatory. But what they're doing is they're making it mandatory, but saying you will not be fired if you do not get it. What does that mean? Well, it means that eventually after all of these states get this put in place, Every state you know, that has a corporation that's licensed is going to offer the microchip to employees. Offer it. They might say it's mandatory and somebody might say, no, no, I will not get it, right? I refuse to take it. And they'll say, oh, it's okay. But eventually what will happen is news story after news story will come out about how beneficial the chip is, how companies are seeing uh, an increase in work usage. Uh, people are working harder. Uh, people are you know, having a, a better experience at work, not having to log into account. I mean, the most ridiculous stuff, right, that we'll just roll our eyes at. Oh, it's you don't have to put your password in to get in your computer. You just use your wrist. Oh, you don't have to have a key card. Oh, you don't have to put, you know, have a parking thing if you park in a garage or something like that. Thing after thing after thing. They'll say, look how easy and convenient it is. With this bill in place and becoming in place in each of these states, look at the fine print, mandatory, but you will not be fired over it. So, I mean, even look at the, how the fine wording of the article, Arkansas House votes to ban forced microchipping of workers, right? So it makes it sound like, oh, this is a good thing for all of us. They're banning the forcing of it. However, they're making it regulation, almost law in Arkansas to have companies offer the microchip because that's really what it's about, right? The House on Thursday approved by an 84 to 4 vote, a bill that would ban employers from requiring an implant as a condition of employment. The measure would only allow microchipping if the employee gives written consent and employers would be responsible for the cost of implanting and removing the chip. And then they go on to talk about, you know, the other company. The sponsor of the legislation has said he doesn't know of any companies in Arkansas with plans to use microchipping technology on workers. This does, because listen, even in the news clip, they said, well, people are like, oh, I don't really understand the point of this, but okay, we'll vote for it, right? They're making it sound as if this is put in place to protect us from the chip. 
That's how I first interpreted when I read the article. I said, oh, wow, they, they're, they're actually going to ban doing this. But listen to even how they talk about it in the, you know, in the news clips that I played. New at nine in the Arkansas Congress legislation that would regulate microchipping employees in Arkansas moves one step closer to becoming law. The proposal cleared its first hurdle by passing out of a House committee. Representative Stephen Meeks is working to get ahead of the emerging technology. He told his colleagues the practice of microchipping employees is only happening in the U.S. and Wisconsin. But when the technology comes to Arkansas, Meeks wants to make sure that employees are protected. His bill would allow them to opt out of getting microchipped without the threat of being fired. One of Meeks' constituents spoke against the bill. I think small businesses that are not incorporated, they don't have that corporate protection from, from liability or accountability, as we should maybe call it, I think they should be allowed to make any kind of dumb rule they want to and impose it on their employees as a condition of employment. We're not here. Now, some of Meeks' colleagues were also critical of the bill. One representative, Mary Bentley, saying her constituents and she herself are in an uproar about this. Despite opposition, the bill passed with the condition that Meeks clean up some of the wording by amendments on the Senate side. If passed by the full House and Senate, this would be the first state law in the country that regulates microchipping. Right? They say one step closer to to making the microchip a law in Arkansas and other states want on board. However, you won't be fired if you don't get it. So what, what is it? What is it then? They're banning the microchip from being a thing or are they one step closer to making it a law for businesses to offer the microchip? Because that's the way I'm interpreting it. And all these articles that you read about it are all just very short about what they're trying to say. Very, very short. Right. It's just a couple paragraphs saying, oh, you know, a bill that would, uh, you know, would make it man would make it. Um, what's the right word to use to so make it not mandatory, but mandatory, in other words. Right. I mean, really, that's what they're saying, in essence, that a law is going now one step further. It's been passed at 84 to four to protect employers, employees from being mandatorily chipped without being fired if they refuse it. But a law is going to be in place that requires microchipping. So, yes, it's almost, I know if you're listening, you're like, I don't get it. Exactly. Exactly. You're not supposed to get it. Because this is how they're wording this to get this law passed and in place where they're going to make mandatory, make businesses, you know, mandatorily offer this to employees. Now, at first, people can refuse it and not be fired. Until eventually they go, look, no one's died. This is the stuff I keep telling everybody, right? Nobody's getting sick. Oh, this mark of the beast. You know, the devil isn't coming and pulling people into hell. You know, Christians with the chip and all that. And they're going to make people feel at ease with all of this, right? Make people feel like, oh, yeah, you know, this isn't so bad after all, right? HB 1177 would prohibit the requirement that employees must have a microchip implanted in their body as a condition of employment. It would also require employers to pay all costs for the chip to be removed. They say representatives Jack Fortner, John Payton, and Nelda Speaks of Mountain Home all voted in favor of advancing it to the Senate. Fortner's district concludes, blah, 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 nobody cares. State senators read the bill twice Thursday and assigned it to the Upper Chamber's Public Health, Welfare, and Labor Committee online legislative records indicate. Two senators... Um, who serve on the committee are also serving on the, the blah, blah, blah. Microchips are not a new technology. Here, let's see how they, look how they word this here. Microchips are not a new technology and pets and livestock have long been chipped for identification purposes. Microchips are also by some businesses to, used by some businesses to track deliveries. HB 1177 received a due pass recommendation by the House Public Health, Welfare, and Labor Committee on Tuesday. The bill's sponsor, Stephen Meeks, told the House committee that he was unaware of any Arkansas company that presently chipped its employees but wanted the state to be proactive in protecting workers. Meeks mentioned a Wisconsin company, Three Square Market, which I covered in 2017, had implanted microchips in the arms of willing employees. The microchips about the size of a grain of rice gave employees the ability to unlock doors, log on to their computers, and purchase snacks. The legislature also mentioned Sweden, where we've gone over all this stuff. Meek's bill would require that employees provide written consent before an employer could implant the chip. 
and that the device must be removed upon the employee's request and the employer bears all the expenses. So you heard how they how they word it in the article and then how they word it on the news. And they're saying a law to advance microchipping. This, you know, do you really think that this is going to protect citizens? This is going to be something that's proactive in getting licensed organizations and licensed companies and make it mandatory for them to offer this to their employees, right? Offer it as a, per- what they'll, they'll probably do is come out and say it's a perk. Ooh, you can get chipped as a perk, right? You don't even have to go to the bank anymore. The money could go right into your wrist, all this stuff, right? And then people don't, oh, I don't see anyone dying from it. I, I think it's an advancement in technology, just like the cell phone, just like Facebook, just like social media, right? I'm in. Boy. You know, it's, you got to read between the lines of some of this stuff because they love to make it sound like this is something in the best interest of the citizens. But between the fine, the fine print here, all they're saying is that a company can't make it mandatory. And we all know that this is going to be something that's willingly done, right? Companies are going to come out and they're going to offer it and they're going to give people the option, but they're going to make it mandatory for companies to offer it. They're going to make it mandatory for companies and banks to all offer this as a, you know to people as an option but it'll be free for them right and what are the things that are always free the the employ- what are the things that the government pays for that's free flu shots and abortions right two things that will kill people kill children kill souls kill people who get their vaccinations and then in this case damn people to hell really unbelievable you know there's just su- these people are just such sneaky serpents you know with how they operate and how they word stuff like i hear this and i'm like wait a minute this is good right for people that they're they're not making it mandatory but like they would never get away with making it mandatory what they're gonna do is make it mandatory law for companies to offer this and they're gonna say good all these companies are now gonna offer it you know ibm Walmart, Target, you know, grocery stores, they're going to all make it, offer it. The government will make it mandatory to offer this type of technology to employees with this consent in there that people will have the right to opt out and not lose their job. So it's in the best interest of the people, right? Yay. Well, no crap that you'd be able to opt out of them sticking something in your body for a job. I mean, give me a break. But eventually, what they're going to do is make it mandatory at some point to stay there or work there, but not right off the bat. Because remember, how they work is they cannot throw, if they make something super mandatory on people without like, you know, slowly taking it away, right? Like look at the guns, for example. They're slowly taking it away, right? They're slowly, you know, doing, they're not just all of a sudden tomorrow you're going to wake up and be like, all guns are banned. Everyone owns a gun. Turn it in today. No. They're going to keep creating these events that happen. Then they're going to, first it's assault rifles, right? And then once all that stuff's gone, then it's going to be handguns. Oh, somebody shot up a school with a handgun. Now we need to get rid of handguns, right? Little by little to get people to give up their rights. Not a big bang. The same with free speech, right? What they're doing now, they're using hate speech as a way to start slowly taking away free speech. It's ridiculous. But this is how they work because they know if they just you know throw a huge net on everybody and pull them in that people are going to be suspicious and say, Whoa, you know, if tomorrow you woke up and they were just like, everyone has to be microchip. Everyone be like, this isn't right. Something's wrong. Maybe the Bible was right. People who are atheists are, Oh my gosh, they're going to force this stuff on us. They're going to force it. People are willingly going to do it. They're going to convince people that it's the right thing to do. So businesses would even have to make it mandatory at some point. Do I think they will? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think they'll be like, listen, you can't bank anymore unless you have the chip, okay? We can't deal with checks and credit cards. It's all obsolete, just like a VHS tape, right? That way they'll do it. So they won't be telling you you have to do it, but they'll be saying, well, how are you going to buy and sell? Just like the Bible tells us. Insane stuff. Insane times we're living in. I thank you for listening to today's show. Let me know how you feel about this in the comment section. God bless all of you and your families.